is Rugged Mount Mister trying to defy the ocean with his construction prowess. The tide is actually coming in, so it may be a fruitless endeavor. faithful few it's day 16 and we are out here on the beach we didn't get any video for day 15 because everybody was sick uh, in the house I picked up something there on the 14th ever backpacking endeavor and kind of gave it to everybody so we just sat around watched some videos ate so this is day 16 and this is our last full day here so what better way to spend it than being on the beach getting some more cool drone shots. That's it, we're gonna have to pack up today and get things ready to leave because we gotta head out early in the morning. So thanks for watching so far. Probably got a couple more videos left or at least some more uh, footage that we'll take. We got another surprise coming here once we leave Polly's Island. We have one more stop to make and uh, we'll do a couple videos on that. Thanks for watching if you've been watching so far and keeping up, if not, Enjoy the beach a little bit more. Well, you faithful few. We're signing off from the beach for the last time. It is sad, but it is necessary. So I'm wanting to get this shot of the truck going over the causeway with the drone. I'm gonna try it. faithful few it's a little dark out but uh, we're here on our last night last night here on adventurecation 3 and we are heading to a place that I've used for b-roll a couple of times and it's here at the hammock shops called biscuit and it's spelled weird biscuit. which must mean it's cool Ooh, or but it's nice and lighted up here there's a Christmas tree lit up more lights, blue lights. Good morning, ye faithful few, and welcome to day 17 of Adventurecation number three. This is the day we leave 
Polly's Pine Tree Retreat and head on to our second destination where we'll be spending two nights at uh, something a little different. We just, well, we're getting close to finishing the always interesting and fun task of packing everything back into the truck. Probably gonna stop and get us some breakfast at that uh, awesome millstone place that we went like on day two and then get in the truck and we got a seven hour drive into Tennessee. Okay, so we're supposed to be weaving soon. And hurry up, you big swole folks. That's what you wanted to do? Have Elsa yell at us? So today we are going to a fancy cabin that we still have it up for Christmas. Should be pretty cool white stuff. sequence put so long together that my frosted flakes are mushy now. The sacrifices we make for these videos. Well, this is the view this morning. If I constrain it, it's only what I want you to see. Because we are pretty much in a neighborhood of log cabins that all get a similar view. In fact, some of these uh, cabins get a pretty good view down into ours. It's all right though, this place is awesome. It is day 18. Adventure Cation 3 is winding down. As I said, we are in the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area, so we're gonna try and find something to do today. We're starting off with rainy, overcast skies, but supposed to get sunny later, so look forward to that. Maybe get some fantastic views of the Smoky Mountains. And the rest of the Rugged Mountain Gang is still sleeping. Well, the way I planned on shooting this segment of the adventure got uh, pretty discombobulated by the crazy storms that came through here last night. The wind was insane as we were driving through. I don't have any B-roll because I was driving. So we left the beautiful, sunny, coastal weather and found ourselves here in the overcast, rainy mountainscape. We are at a Verbo cabin, and uh, it's called Magical Memories, and it is beautiful. Plan on doing a tour, so I wanted to do like a Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous and like enter, you know, right there when we got here and kind of show it off as we were experiencing it. But again, the rain, the fact that the uh, beautiful decorations were laying sideways on the porch kind of made that a little difficult. Not to mention the roads getting up here are a little sketchy for a flatlander like myself. So I intended on shooting this chronologically, obviously, um, but here I am on day 18 with no actual footage of 
kind of showing up on day 17. So once we got here, we uh, kind of just came in and checked out the place and oohed and odd over it. And then after that, we needed to get some stuff at a store. So we tracked one down and headed back out and went to a local grocery, picked up some things that we needed, and then came on back, had some dinner, and then just played games all night. And they got so many different things here to do. I mean, we didn't even touch a TV or a movie, just played some video games, exposed the kids to billiards uh, they've, they've never played before. Here, here, I'll show you. Good evening, you faithful few. Welcome to game night at Magical Memories. I mean, check this out. They got a little arcade thingy with a bunch of different games on it and some classics like Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, regular Pac-Man. So this cabin is fantastic. Got a little bit of billiards going on here between me and Rugged Mountain Sister. Oh, that was fantastic. I'm happy to have our video. <laughs> Edit. 13 corner pocket. <laughs> Pull sharks! I put a sequence together, you know how terrible we are. <laughs> Aren't we amazing? <laughs> we should go to the Is there a Monday for three? I'm not sure. Let's know you faithful few. Is there billiards in the Olympics? Okay, all I have to do is hit it straight. That's too hard. This game's too complicated. <laughs> 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 Four ball, corner pocket, Rugged Mountain Sister. Quiet, please. Ah, oh, so close. Woo! Oh, hey, Mom. Look at that money. All right, with the Jackson 5 as motivation, if I miss this, I quit. And it's even been quite a while since uh, I have played. This is gonna suck to edit. <clears throat>